Hi everybody, I'm Shelly Geigel with JS Hobbies and Crafts and I've got two albums that I am selling. The other two, the Mulberry Kisses and the Tells uh, of You and Me, they are sold. Um, I have these two that are up for sale and a link to my website where you can find them are underneath the video and description area. So this is my beloved Enchanted Tea album that is for sale. It is a gorgeous album. It's, um, I believe it's like eight and a half by six and a half with about a three and a half inch spine. And then I have this one, and this is my uh, Graphic 45 Portrait of a Lady, and it's an eight by six. Um, so let's take a look at each one. Okay, this one, my Enchanted Tea Album. A lot of beautiful embellishments by Renee Bouquet um, are on here, like the butterflies, the dragonflies, stuff like that. And on the spine, we have one, and we have one of the Tim Holtz uh, Baroque frames. Okay, let's get into the inside here. Okay. So this was an album I did not really want to sell, but I'm going to. I really have to make some room um, for more albums. So there's going to be about a total of 13, 14 albums I'll be selling. Alrighty, what we have over here is this really cute little pocket. We have a lot of embellishments, beautiful colors in this collection. In the pocket, I have a little picture mat, or if you want a journal, you can do that. Back here, I have a picture mat, and on this one, this is a folder, and it just opens up, and you can plant your photos. You can plant them portrait way or landscape, whichever you like. Alrighty, over here, we have a pocket right up front. There's this really cute little um, die cut that came with... Um, well, there was the paper collection and then the die cuts were separate that I had purchased. Anyway, this is really cute and I like this because you can journal on the back. Just a couple small picture mats and they are one-sided. However, if you want to journal on the back or place another photo, you most definitely can. It, it's all according to taste when it comes to putting our photos in here. This opens up and you can place a photo here and it is magnetic and back here what I have is this now this um, you will what you would do is slide a photo back behind here and then you can tack it down up here is a space just to plant a photo now with this one all you have to do is now this one I didn't do like that I just left it so you can just put your photo right in the middle there and it would be framed with the beautiful decorative cardstock and a little bit of white around your picture and that was the idea of that and you can also like I said plant your photos back behind and that just slips behind the little cards here okay next page this is I love this page I think it's really pretty it's a side pocket and um, I just love how the butterflies and just how this whole page worked out along with the colors and the beautiful uh, decorative dye here. And there are a couple picture mats here. Over here is a waterfall. And you just flip these up. And you can plant your photos or you can journal, whichever you would like. And you can place one right back there. Okay, next page. We have another little envelope up here, and here's a little tag you can journal on. Isn't that cute? Back here is a card, and you can journal on the back of that. It's mounted onto 110 pound cardstock. Or place a photo. And that slides right back behind the little envelope, by the way. You can just kind of tuck that right on in there and then another picture mat. Over here is a large pocket with a couple picture mats. A lot of cute little stuff over here. Next page we have another little envelope 
and all I have is a little decorative card here. Okay, here are some pitcher mats, and they just tuck back behind. All right, this page. Right up here what we have is a fold-up, but this is a little pocket, and you can just stick a photo right in there. I have this little card here, there's always time for tea. And what's great about this album is you don't have to be a tea lover. So it's just a pretty album. So that flips up and you can place a photo up here. Down here is a little tab so you can slide things in and out. And you can also place a photo there if you wanted. And there's another little card and a picture mat. Okay, along with this is a side pocket. So, a couple large picture mats. Just slide that in. Next page. Okay, we have a large uh, fold out here, but first, right up front, we have another little uh, envelope. You can just slide something right on in there if you'd like. Myself, for this, I would actually put just a photo sticking out of that pocket, that little envelope. I think that would look really cute. Uh, this is just a little uh, picture mat or journaling card, and it slides back behind the envelope. And back here, a couple picture mats in the pocket there. Okay, this folds out. Large space just to plant a photo, and over here is a picture mat. Over here, this is magnetic, and it folds out, so you can put a small um, photo, or you can uh, put a white piece of cardstock, or use one of the tags and put it right there. This is a great place to plant a photo. Open it up, and there's another place to plant a photo. And there is a nice size pocket here with two photo mats. And again, with this album, you can go either side with the photos on the little picture mats. So, and this was made with 110 pound uh, white cardstock and then the decorative paper. Okay, last page, we have a large flip here and all it is is a cute little envelope. You can just put pictures in there. And here's a picture mat. Okay. Over here there's a lot going on. We have another really cute envelope up there with the picture mat. Back behind the envelope is another one. Okay. So with this, this pulls up and there's a free floating mat. You can place a photo here one here, just journal. And then there's a large picture back here, picture mat, large pocket for the picture mats back here. So that is what this album has to offer. Let's stick one right there. Okay, next album for sale. And that is The Portrait of a Lady. Now this one was actually made with the Graphic 45 3D Flip and then I decorated and added my own cardstock and I kind of did my own thing with it. So it's about an 8 by 6 It's really pretty colors. We've got handmade flowers on the front and of course this is our uh, side closure. It just hooks on right here. And there's room, see, to get more, more of your pictures in there. So first page, and there's a lot of pages in here. Um, this has uh, just a, a bunch of things and it's the album itself is designed differently. So there's a place where you can just slide in this little, it's a little tag, just slides back behind this and you untie it and you can actually stick a photo right here. And here is another tag. And you just can tie it up. Real easy. Over here, designed to put a photo. And here are some more little uh, journaling cards. OK, 
Okay, so this particular one has um, side pockets, just so you know. So this one does not have a lot of picture mats. Um, this one is designed, this is a pocket, so you can slide uh, some picture mats. And picture mats you can do on cream colored, white, black cardstock, anything you want. So this album is discounted and sold as is. Here is a pocket for your photographs, and here is a side pocket. Okay, we have another pocket back here, so you can slide some photographs. Here is a belly band with a card, so that you can just plant your photos right on in there. Okay, this one is designed just to put your photo down, and right up here, all you do is you place your photo here and you slide it back behind and it will frame it. And you can journal right down here. Over here you plant a photo and there is a pocket right here to place your photos on picture mats or whatever. In here is another pocket on the side. Okay, up here, this is a pocket back here, and here's picture mat and another tag, as you can see, and this will just fit right here. But you can just plant a photo here and use this for one of the other uh, pockets, too. Okay, this is just for planting photos. Nice photo here and here, two smaller ones. Okay, over here we have a little tie, and you can stick your photo right here and journal over here. You can even stick a photo right there. Over here is a nice size pocket. And I ran, uh, here's the thing, I meant to put a bunch of picture mats in this, but I can't locate my paper, and I know I had some left, so that is why it's being discounted. It's being sold as is without the picture mats, and picture mats are so easy. So, um, another pocket here, and then we have a side pocket, and there is a nice size picture mat to go in there. Here we have some tags, and we also have a larger one. And you can always plant a photo right on that as well. But there is a nice size uh, pocket there. Here, you just place your photo. This is one of those albums that is just really easy just to plant your photos. Okay, here, you just untie this. You can journal right here, and you can place your photos right here. And over here, same thing, nice large space to plant a photo. Here you plant a photo and here is another pocket right here to put your pictures in. And again, a nice size side pocket. Over here is another pocket to slide things into. And right here is a band and you just slide your photos back behind on a picture mat. And here is some journaling for a journaling card. Here, plant a photo here, here, or two on each page, however you'd like. Here, a large photo, and here is a nice pocket and a large card. And it's a journaling or tag. Okay, back here, I have another pocket, and we have another tag here or journaling spot. Over here we have another right here. And you slide your photo back behind here. And you can either place a photo on here and use this as a journaling. Here you can plant a photo here and you can plant a photo here. And then you can slide the little journaling card like that to tell about what's happening on our pages. Here, this is just ready to go. Plant a photo, and here's another pocket, 
And here is another journaling card or tag. Here we have another pocket. And here what we have is, here is the little card, the little picture mat, and you put your photo on this, and this will lift up for you so you can slide it in place. Now the idea is once you have it in place, you can tack it down or just leave it. It should stay just fine. Back here, photo, and then here. We just open that up. Here's a place to journal and a place to put your picture. So that is my portrait of a lady and it is a little bit discounted due to the fact it doesn't have a lot of photo mats. Okay, I will be selling off a couple more albums after this in a day or two. So uh, you can find these albums on my website. Uh, www.jshobbiesandcrafts.com and then you click on the icon mini albums and crafts. Happy crafting everybody!